uh, hello everyone. Uh, I'm uh, Hiroya Kato uh, from Japan. Uh, uh, first of all, uh, I am um, uh, glad to present uh, our work at uh, this great conference. And uh, my presentation title is H pruning, uh, poison H pruning in graph context learning. Uh, well, uh, let's get it started. Um, this is the outline of my presentation today. Uh, I will make um, my presentation uh, following uh, this uh, outline. Yeah, uh, graph context learning is the useful um, and supervised graph uh, representation learning. Um, in graph domain, uh, it is said that uh, labeled uh, data are insufficient in quantity. Uh, so, in response to such situation, um, GCL is uh, proposed, and uh, GCL trying to uh, try to train uh, encode only with uh, node features and uh, uh, since you, uh, adjacency adjacent metrics, and uh, uh, trained encoder can be utilized as a feature extractor in downstream task. Um, so, a trained the encoder converts uh, information uh, about uh, nodes into a uh, numerical vector called embeddings. Uh, the by utilizing the, this uh, trained encoders, the practitioner uh, of downstream task can train good uh, classification uh, classifier uh, with a uh, uh, few label data, uh, which result in uh, regard, uh, realizing uh, various tasks. Okay, in this slide, and I um, explain the representative uh, uh, GCL method. Uh, the main goal of uh, GCL is to uh, run um, encoders that maps uh, nodes into the uh, embeddings. The uh, GCL methods called G uh, GCA introduced uh, graph augmentation with a uh, centrality-based weight. Uh, this figure shows the overview of GCA. Um, uh, first, uh, an original graph is converted to augmented graphs, and uh, uh, they are uh, uh, fed into the uh, G and, and encoded to calculate uh, contrastive loss. The contrastive loss is calculated so that uh, similar nodes are uh, cross, and uh, the similar nodes are far away. Um, by doing this, um, uh, GCA can produce useful uh, node embeddings uh, comparable to that in supervised method. However, poisoning attack against GCL has been uh, proposed recently. Uh, CLGA is a state-of-the-art unsupervised poisoning attack against GCL. Uh, in this attack, the poison graph is created by uh, uh, modifying uh, edges on the base of the uh, uh, gradients of uh, uh, contrastive loss uh, with respect to um, adjacency matrix. Uh, figure three uh, shows the overview of the CLGA against uh, GCA. Uh, two uh, augmented graphs are fed into, and uh, the two embeddings are obtained uh, in order to uh, calculate the contrast to loss. Um, after that, uh, CLGA uh, try to uh, calculate a gradient of the loss with respect to a JCC matrix for each graph, and uh, uh, because uh, two gradients are calculated in uh, this point, uh, they are uh, sum summed up. Yeah. Then um, uh, finally, uh, CLGA uh, modifies the edge so that the loss is maximized. Uh, CLGA repeats this edge modification procedures multiple times uh, to create effective poison graphs. Yeah. Uh, so we uh, consider CLZ uh, would become a severe obstacle to utilizing GCL in the real situation in the future. Nevertheless, uh, there is no difference uh, intended for GCL method. Uh, this figure shows uh, our uh, third model. In, um, uh, we assume that uh, an attacker creates the uh, poisoned graft and uh, the poison graph uh, will be uh, published for many users. Uh, when uh, the practitioner of GCL utilizes this poison graph and at used to train the encoder, the uh, trained encoder is contaminated. Yeah. So after that, uh, when uh, this contaminated uh, encoder 
uh, is utilized by the practitioner of downstream tasks. Um, many downstream tasks suffer uh, and numerous damage. So yeah, in order to prevent such a threat, uh, we consider that sanitizing poison graph is uh, important so as to eliminate uh, uh, adverse effect on this air. Uh, uh, in, in this work, uh, the main research question is how to uh, sanitize poison graph without a uh, label. Um, we assume that sanitizing graph is uh, conducted just before uh, training encoder rather than uh, training uh, classification models uh, downstream task. And this is because uh, defending training encoder uh, is more efficient in light of uh, defending uh, merge of uh, downstream tasks. Okay, um, in order to uh, um, sanitize graphs, we propose edge pruner. Uh, edge pruner will literally uh, prune the edges so that the contrast loss of supposed GCL is uh, minimized. Uh, in addition to that, uh, we introduced the feature similarity uh, between neighboring nodes um, to, in order to more appropriately uh, identify the poisoned edges connecting nodes with uh, distinct features. Uh, figure five shows uh, uh, our uh, method. Uh, HPRUDO takes um, a poison graph uh, as input. After that, uh, this year training is conducted on this poison graph. And then uh, on the basis of the embeddings, the contrast loss is calculated and uh, uh, Edge Pruner uh, calculates the gradient of contrast loss with respect to the uh, adjacency metrics. Uh, if uh, another feature is available, uh, feature similarity is uh, calculated and uh, this similarity is uh, uh, utilized for uh, selecting uh, edges to prune. Yeah, uh, uh, on the basis of this information, it's prune, prune an edge one by one. Then after uh, pruning, updated graph uh, fed into the uh, this method again. And, uh, uh, Pruna retrain, retrain the encoder from the scratch to prevent the effect of poison uh, from remain. Uh, finally, um, Pruna output a graph that yields a minimum loss uh, after uh, multiple uh, iterations. Okay, and from this slide, uh, I uh, described uh, uh, reason why we adopt pruning and. Uh, uh, feature similarity for our uh, defense. Um, yeah, we uh, consider that uh, pruning edge is important uh, sanitized poison graphs. Um, this is because uh, CLZA tend to mainly um, add uh, poisoned uh, poisoned edges to create effective poison graphs. Uh, we inspected the edge modification when uh, poison graphs are created by CLZA. Uh, this table shows the results, and uh, according, according to this uh, table, um, uh, edge, uh, addition uh, is more frequently conducted to uh, create a poison graph uh, in our experiments. Uh, therefore, we consider that uh, from the defense aspect, um, deleting the edge is more important. Yeah. Um, finally, uh, Edge pruner selects edges that has positive gradient as a candidate one to prune. The out of candidate, um, edge pruner uh, prunes the uh, edge with the largest gradient at each uh, iteration. Um, please note that uh, pruning means that the value is changing from one to zero in um, edges in uh, metrics. As for uh, feature similarity, uh, we found that uh, a fact that uh, nodes with distinct uh, features tend to be connected by poison edges. Uh, we inspected the distribution of the uh, cosine similarity of nodes connected by clean edges or uh, poisoned ones. Uh, according to uh, our uh, results, uh, compared to the uh, 
green edges are blue, blue ones. Um, the similarity in the poisoned one uh, tend to be distributed uh, around the lower body area. Um, just that we consider that uh, feature similarity is useful for uh, sanitizing. And uh, finally, we introduce the sim this similarity so that edge pruner uh, regards the uh, edges as um, a candidate if uh, this feature similarity is lower than uh, predefined threshold. Okay, from this slide, uh, I uh, show some experimental results. Uh, in our experiment, we may compare the performance of uh, nodal classification to evaluate the quality of uh, embeddings. Uh, as for attack methods, uh, we utilize the CLZA, uh, which is state of the art and supervised attack against uh, GCA. Uh, in CLZA, uh, poison graph is cr created by modifying 10% uh, of edges in a graph. Uh, as for uh, GCA method, uh, GCA and uh, Arial are utilized for training encoder. The encoder is uh, two layer uh, GCN uh, following the other uh, paper setting. Uh, edge pruner is allowed to prune up to 10% uh, of edges. Um, in terms of the method for comparison, uh, Self-designed self uh, uh, method that prune edge all at once uh, evaluated. Uh, we simply call uh, this method uh, baseline. And in addition to that, uh, GCA and uh, GNL guard and GNL jacquard are utilized in our experiments. Yeah, uh, which uh, existing defense method for supervised GC, uh, GNL. I, I show uh, results on uh, poison graph in this slide. Uh, table 3 shows the uh, uh, accuracy and standard deviation of nodal classification and uh, the attack. Um, according to uh, this table, uh, HPR can achieve better accuracy on poison uh, graphs in many cases. Uh, in particular, uh, the accuracy is improved by 9 uh, about up to 9% on the core author dead set. When we comparing the um, um, GCA and the uh, HPRUNA Z. Uh, in summary, HPRUNA uh, is the best method around uh, all the methods. Uh, furthermore, uh, we evaluate the effect of HPRUNA and uh, other methods on clean graph. And uh, table four shows the accuracy and the standard deviation of the uh, node classification on crane graph. According to uh, this graph, uh, when edge pruner is applied to crane graphs, the accuracy is uh, uh, slightly uh, degraded. Uh, however, the accuracy drop within 3.5%. Uh, uh, yeah, so uh, it's uh, tiny. Um, then um, we conclude that uh, edge pruner can lower, uh, raise lower band of accuracy on poison graphs while maintaining uh, acceptable accuracy on green uh, graphs. Okay, I conclude this uh, my presentation. Um, we propose an empirical um, defensive method against the poison attack in GCL. Uh, we found that pruning edge is more important in defense. The edge pruner can uh, raise a lower band of uh, accuracy on poison graphs uh, while maintaining the acceptable uh, accuracy on clean graphs. Um, yeah, we argue that uh, our method is uh, immune to um, adaptive attack. Uh, we omit, uh, I omit the <laughs> re detailed result uh, in this slide uh, because of the limited uh, presentation time. So yeah, and that's uh, re uh, detailed result is showing in my paper. Yeah, please refer to it. Uh, yeah, we conclude that uh, edge pruner is a simple and uh, versatile defense that is applicable to many GCL methods. Uh, as for future work, um, yeah, one. In the most uh, interesting future work is that uh, how to restore edge edges deleted by attackers. 
uh, interesting feature work because <laughs> uh, our uh, methods literally on only <laughs> conduct pruning edges. Yeah, so this is an uh, interesting feature work. Um, in addition to that, uh, it is needed to improve the accuracy to the same uh, level as that on green graphs. Yeah. 